The Nintendo Wi-Fi connection system shut down more than 10 years ago, meaning all those mystery gifts containing shiny, legendary, and unique Pokemon and items could no longer legitimately be obtained. However, sometime after the Wi-Fi connection system ended, an exploit was discovered in the Nintendo DS handheld's internet settings that allowed players to still get those special Pokemon and items, and they are 100% legitimate. As of 2024, I can confirm that this still works on all Nintendo DS devices, except for Nintendo DSi for some reason, as well as on emulator Melon DS. In this video, I will cover everything you need to know to do this yourself on any supported Nintendo DS devices or via Melon DS. Throughout this video, I will be showing you how to do this specifically on Melon DS, but this process will still work on your Nintendo DS handheld. Side note, before we begin, I will be putting very thorough notes inside the description box, so please read that carefully before asking me any questions. Also, I'm not tech support for Melon DS, so if you're unable to set up Melon DS on your own, you will need to Google the setup instructions separately. But for your convenience, I did place setup instructions in the description box for you. If you still have Melon DS setup questions, you will need to Google those yourself. Finally, this video is not being sponsored by Melon DS. It is simply the only emulator I found to get this to work properly though there may be other emulators out there that this works on as well. Now, as you can see, I'm playing Pokemon Soul Silver, a Gen 4 game, but this particular process works on all Gen 4 titles and all Gen 5 titles. So that means everything from Diamond and Pearl to Black and White 2 and everything in between. The only difference is, is that the mystery gifts you get will be dependent upon the version of the game that you're playing. Also, depending on the game you're playing and the system that you're on, so like DS, 2DS, 3DS, they might have a slightly different interface. And if that's the case, then the settings will be the same, but the buttons that you click might look slightly different, but they're all so similar. You should be able to do what I'm showing you here uh, just by navigating around and finding the settings that pertain to what we're talking about. So anyway, let's move on. In Gen 4, this is what it looks like when I click the start button to move on. I have continue, new game, connect to Pokewalker. If I scroll down, there's more options. Mystery gift, Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings. So I'm gonna click on that here. All right, and we're gonna choose Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings. This works for all your Nintendo DS devices except for DSi, and it also works on this particular emulator, Melon DS. All right, so your system might look like this, but this is how it's gonna go for you. If you're using a Nintendo DS at home, you're gonna choose whichever one of these is your home Wi-Fi network. Now you have three Wi-Fi networks that you can set up on your device, on your Nintendo DS device. You could put like your home here, maybe your friend's house, maybe your work, something like that. I don't know, maybe you went to a hotel or something and you put their Wi-Fi in here. Whatever the case is, you have multiple Wi-Fi options. I have this one and then I've got none. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one for myself though. Okay, now if you're at home and you're setting up your Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, then you're, you should already have that set up right here. If not, do that now. For the Melon DS emulator, this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna say search for an access point, and then it's gonna go ahead and do its thing. Okay, and now this is what it's gonna show. So if you're playing on a Melon DS emulator, it's basically created a fake Wi-Fi network, and that's what this is. The Melon AP is like a fake uh, Wi-Fi system, Melon AP, Melon access point. It's just a fake Wi-Fi thing. You do need like internet on your like computer that you're playing Melon on in order for this to work, but this is a fake bridged network, an ad hoc network, if you will. If you are playing on Nintendo DS, this is gonna be your specific Wi-Fi network here if you're setting it up for the first time. So this is gonna be like my AT&T Wi-Fi, my Verizon Wi-Fi, you know, my, you know, whatever, you know, communications Wi-Fi that you have, whatever service provider. So you're just gonna select that because that's gonna be the, the Wi-Fi network you're gonna work on, okay? So to be clear, in this example, if you're using your own DS network or your own DS, you're gonna use your own home network or whatever network makes sense for you, but I'm just gonna say home. If you're using Melon and you set it up right, it should look just as we have it here. I'm gonna hit, hit A-OK, -okay. it'll test the connection and it'll work. Boom, done, okay? If, if you're playing on Melon and it's not working, you did something wrong and I can't help you. I'm not here to set up your Melon for you. I'm here to show you what you do in your game while already having set up Melon. If you're at home and you set up your own Wi-Fi on your Nintendo DS device, then you're good, okay? If you are successful with the Melon DS setup, should be super easy and straightforward, then we can move on. If you're successful on a Nintendo DS handheld console, this is where you're gonna do what I'm doing. You're gonna choose, connect to that setting, and you're gonna see the setting that you set up. So this is gonna be the Melon one for me. For you, this is your home network. If you are using a Nintendo DS, 3DS, 2DS, you are selecting your home network. Okay, 
So we're gonna go ahead and see a similar screen like this, depending on the game you're playing, depending on the DS console you're using, it should look somewhere sort of similar to this, enough to where you can navigate through this, okay? We're gonna scroll down to where it says, auto obtain DNS, we're gonna say no. And that's gonna give us the option to edit the primary and secondary DNS. For this video, I have put in the description box two different primary DNS and only one secondary DNS. To avoid confusion, just do what I'm doing. If this doesn't work, do the other one. But just do what I'm doing in the video for now, okay? I'm 98.9% .9 sure this will work for you, but if it does not, either A, you did something wrong, or B, something else is happening to your home network and you can try the secondary one, either or. Either what I'm showing you here or what's in the description box, one of those things will work, I promise you. Just do what I'm doing and pay attention, okay? For the primary DNS, I've got it written down right over here. It's gonna be one, seven, eight. It'll throw me to the next box. Zero, six, two, zero, four, three, two, one, two. Okay, when I hit okay, the zeros will disappear. That's fine, that's how it's supposed to look. We're gonna say A-OK, -okay, because that is correct. And then we're gonna edit the secondary DNS. For this one, I'm going to actually tap on the buttons. I'm gonna say one, and then I'm gonna move over to the next box. One, next box, one, next one, okay? That's what it should look like. Whether you're doing this on your home Wi-Fi, on your own Nintendo DS console, or on your own version of Melon DS, which will work on, I believe, Android, Mac OS, uh, and PC. This is what it'll, it'll look like, okay? So you're good, we're gonna say yes, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and save the settings because I know they're correct. You can test it if you want, but I know they're right, so I'm gonna move on, okay? And I'm gonna back out, B, B, B for back. Now, as an aside to this, you are, and you are, you are basically creating a save file for this ROM. Once you're done, like, saving all of these Pokemon to your game because every time you like receive a mystery gift it's like okay saving the game and all that it's saving that file you can move that save file around to other like emulators if you want for example uh Delta for iOS came out recently on the iPhone and iPad so you can move this save file over and like play with those Pokemon like duplicate the save file and move those shinies and these unique Pokemon over to your phone and play them there like you can move things around. I actually made a video about that too, which will also be in the description box if you wanna know how to move your save files and ROMs, your games, over from a computer to a phone. You can do that. And I made a video for it, so check that out. But anyway, now that we have imported our Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings, we're gonna to go to Mystery Gift. Now, there's a few things that you need to know about this. The Mystery Gift system, you can only hold a couple at a time before it starts to stack up and be like hey you gotta like go retrieve your stuff D different versions or different games um will have different like limitations for whatever reason i found on gen 4 and soul silver in particular i can only grab like two or three at a time before it's like oh you've got too many go get your stuff and then move on and i'll show you what i'm talking about so once you're here you're gonna say receive gift and we're gonna toggle down to get via nintendo wfc okay i'm gonna attack that and then we're gonna go ahead and get that Okay, and it's gonna search for a gift. I've been doing some testing on this. The gifts that I have been receiving have been like randomly thrown at me. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get right now. The yellow forest, okay? So we got that. So in some earlier tests that I was doing, I first got a shiny Entei, and then it gave me a Pikachu and a Jirachi and a shiny uh, Raikou and a shiny Suicune. So the gifts that you get will be super random, okay? I actually don't even know what the yellow forest is. I don't even care about that because I'm here for the Pokemon. Once you've gathered that card, you should be able to get, I think, on Soul Silver 2 more, but it may vary or differ depending on what game that you're playing. I don't know what the limitation is. I was reading that it was up to 20, but then when my test for me, it's been three. I don't know. Now, I can either continue my game and I can go and get this from a guy wearing green in the Pokemon, or I can just grab a couple more mystery gifts just to save it. So if I say receive gift, be a Nintendo WFC, Sometimes when I'm doing this, it says, oh, you already got this gift. And then I check it again and then it gives me a new gift. Just keep toggling it until it says you can't get any more. It's kind of weird. Yeah, see, I don't even know what this is. This is like a Japanese gift. <laughs> I don't even know. There's just so many of them. So I'm grabbing this now too. So I don't, I have no idea what this is. Really, I just want Pokemon, honestly. Okay, the gift has been received and the game has been saved. Uh, oh, okay. So it gave me, it looks like the three baby Pokemon uh, for whatever reason. I have no interest in that. Really what I wanted was a Johto Legendaries. Um, it'll give you one at a time, by the way, for those. So let's, we'll figure out what the, what that particular Japanese one is 
Uh, it seems as though these codes also too, they will give you English and Japanese things. So anything that you, any mystery gift that was available, you will get like using this system, whether it's the English ones from GameStop or the Japanese one from, you know, wherever they give them out in Japan. I'm not familiar personally, but uh, okay, cool. So I got a Celebi this time. It's not shiny, which is totally fine. I'm going to see if I can do one more and it might be like, no, you have, you have too many. You need to go and, and deal with that. And I'll show you how to deal with that because what basically is happening here, this right here, make note of this. You see how it says wonder card. So you can only hold a handful of wonder cards at a time. And the wonder cards are basically like your little tickets to redeem your, uh, in-game Pokemon and items. So it's important that while you have these cards, if you have not retrieved the Pokemon or the items or whatever from the guy at the Pokemart, do not delete those cards. If you delete those cards before you receive your gifts, like from that guy in the Pokemart, you will delete that particular entry. These cards are just vouchers. Like you can get rid of them once you've got your, your Pokemon and stuff. Lock capsule. Okay, see how it says you're out of room? I can't accept another gift. Okay, so three. So it capped me out at three. It's consistent throughout my testing. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and say continue. Now the Pokemon that you're gonna receive from the Pokemart, you need to make sure that you have an open team. So I only have Furret right now. He's at level 75 because I've had him throughout my playthrough. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Pokemart and he'll stack all three for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, yep. Good evening, you must be Mark. I've received a gift for you. Here you go. Mark received a route map, Yellow Forest. I'll have to look into that. I don't really, I don't know what that is. Uh, you must be Mark. I've received a gift for you. Here you go. Mark received a route map. Amity Yaddo. Yes, I have no idea what these are. Okay. Good evening. You must be Mark. I've received a gift. Here you go. Received a Celebi. Now I've got Celebi on my team. Okay. And there we go. So now I'm just going to step out. And if I go back inside, he's going to be gone. So I don't know why it showed like Pikachu for the yellow thing. And then the, those three uh, baby Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know what that is. So you're going to get a lot of gifts that you want. Other gifts are going to be like, what in the heck is this? Let's take a look. So we got Celebi. We're going to go to summary here and see what's all about that. So he's in a Cherish Ball, one of my favorite Pokeballs. He's Psychic like Grass type Pokemon. Uh, he's level 50, Leaf Storm, Recover, Nasty Plot, Healing Wish. And he's holding a Jaboka Berry. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to keep on continuing and doing that because I really want to get a shiny Pokemon because they're, they're all there. You're guaranteed to get all of those. So if you don't get them, don't worry about it. These are at random. I have tried to record this video like two dozen times just to make sure that I, if I ran into anything weird that we would be talking about it. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew that, yeah, they can they can be random. I think the first time that I did it, the very first Pokemon that I got was a shiny Entei, then it was a Jirachi, and then a Pikachu. And then I reset it, tried to do it all again for testing purposes. And then I got a Jirachi a couple of times starting over. Then it was Pikachu was the first one I got. Then it was Raikou, and then so on and so forth. So don't be discouraged if you don't get a gift that you want. It's just, it is a mystery, apparently. Now... Because I have received those three Pokemon and those cards, the cards are what hold are are what is holding me back. Say so the Wonder card, the Yellow Forest. I have received this. I have received this. I've received this. So I can only hold three cards at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and say trash, because like I don't, and I'm gonna say yes, because I don't really care about these cards. I got the Pokemon or they got the items, so it's fine. Like I don't I don't need these cards as proof that I have received it. It's more for your info. So I'm gonna go ahead and say trash as well. And I'm gonna say, yes, I should have probably looked at the info on the other one so I knew what that gift was because I don't know what the freaking yellow amenable fours, whatever those are, I have no idea. Okay, we'll say info on this, just check it out. Find secrets from the past and future. Transfer Celebi to Pokemon Black version or Pokemon White version for a special encounter. Save the game once you receive Celebi at a Pokemart. Okay, and we did. I'm gonna trash that, sweet. So that means that I've gotten rid of all three of my vouchers because I've redeemed all three of my Pokemon now or the one Pokemon and two items, you get it. We're gonna go back to receive gift. We're gonna get via Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Come on, shiny Johto Trio. All right, so we got ourselves a shiny Eevee. So pretty cool stuff. Let's grab that. Excellent, beautiful shiny Eevee. We're gonna go ahead now into the Pokemart. We're gonna grab that now. Cool, gonna go to the delivery man. Sweet, all right, let's back out. We'll go back to the main menu. Finally, we got a shiny. I was hoping for that. Now, these are, these are like I said, all guaranteed. You're going to get these. If you ever get any sort of error code or any sort of like um, problem or whatever, just reset the game and go back into it. It's It can be a little buggy, but don't let that deter you. If ever you get any sort of error code or problem, don't panic. It's not a big deal. It's totally fine. 
All right. Good evening. You must be Mark. I've received a gift for you. Here you go. Mark received an Eevee. Great. Got a shiny Eevee. Now I got to decide who I wanted to evolve into. That's the hardest part. Sweet. So we're going to grab that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and inspect it. Eevee level 50. Oh, man. Holding a focus sash. I'm a cherish ball. Knows Iron Tail, Trump Card Flail, and Quick Attack. Adaptability. Powers up the moves of the same type. Very cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save that as well because the game tells you that you need to save it after you pick these up. So the idea is, is you're going to go and you're going to do all this, go in here, see the Pokemart and that dude, and then you're going to get whatever he's giving you. You're going to save it and then you're going to reset and go back and then rinse and repeat. So you kind of get the idea, but your results may vary depending on what it is that you're getting. You may get uh, shiny Pokemon. You may get legendary Pokemon. You may get items like there's a lot of different things that you can get. So just keep in mind that you're not guaranteed to get anything in any particular order. And if you don't get what it is that you're looking for, just keep trying. Just keep grinding it out and then you'll get whatever it is uh, coming to you eventually. Just keep trying it. And if you receive any error codes, just reset the emulator or reset your DS and then try again and then you should be okay. Don't let any of those things deter you. If they, if the uh, gift options, if for whatever reason you continue to get errors, you can remove the entry that we've created for the uh, DNS and stuff and redo it again and then you should be okay. I've gotten the error code multiple times and I just reset my emulator in my console or my handheld console and I was good to go. So you shouldn't receive any sort of like continuous problems, but if you do, just delete that Wi-Fi connection, re-enter the DNS as we talked about, or try one of the alternates that we have down in the description box, and then you should be in good shape. But there we go. Make a wish, Jirachi. Sweet. So we got ourselves a Jirachi. Not a shiny, but whatever. Anyway, you get the idea. Thank you guys for watching this episode of our how-to to get all these Pokemon for Gen 4 and Gen 5. I uh, look forward to hearing what your successes are in that. Let me know what Pokemon that you got from Gen 4, Gen 5, whatever Pokemon that... Uh, Pokemon version you're playing and the Pokemon that you got. I'm really excited to hear about your results. But if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful in any way, then be sure to show your love and hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some information and links there that may be of interest in, to you, including a link to the Mark and I community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Otherwise, just know that I appreciate you and your time, and I hope to see you around the channel. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you around.